which is the same day from the last video but i couldn't remember what my video was about now i remember okay so today we're gonna be talking about it's gonna be a little story time a little story time about when i was in high school in georgia Mmm. Let's talk about it now. This is gonna be my second high school I went to in Georgia. But it was like the ghetto part. <laughs> it was it was a ghetto, but it was like uh, a low class school. Like it was real. It was giving real <laughs> hoodness. You okay. Anyway. So my teeth probably look a little yellow on this camera and I feel like it's because of my lighting. Yes, yeah, so I don't know how to change that, but don't talk about me in the comments. <laughs> anyway. Let's get this story on with um so basically I was around I wanna say I was fifteen. And I was just starting high school, but this was my second high school that I was starting because my mom got her own place, and last time I was living with my aunt. Excuse me. So, oh, my mom got her own place, and I just started high school. I was in ninth grade. The school I was going to was Forest Park High School. Yes, Forest Park High School. So, if you remember or you you know <laughs> go to school there i'm sorry for you i'm real sorry for you mm. but yeah anyway i used to live in forest park the name of the school i used to go to was forest park high school it was beautiful when i saw it when i saw it when i first saw it when i first came out said oh my god the school is like beautiful that's because i ain't really like i don't know high school was just beautiful to me when i first started like it was so big and you know they got camp on on campus stuff like i don't know i don't know what type of high school y'all went to but the type of high schools i went to in georgia they were beautiful on the outside okay um yeah they had student parking they had the campus so big out. You could walk around. You could go out whenever. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Okay. So, okay. Anyway, I'm going to talk about the time I got jumped in Forest Park High School. It was bad. It was a bad day. It was a bad day. Let me tell y'all. That's the first time I ever got jumped. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. So, <laughs> me and this girl, I forgot her name. But, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Even if I did know her name, I don't think I'll say it. Me and this girl that I met became. I want to say best friends, but we we became friends. How we became friends is I'm about to out myself. <laughs> I'm about to out myself, so don't judge me. We became friends because we skipped school together. I know, I know. Uh, when we skipped school together. I knew this guy that I drove and we, you know, we, we skipped school together. We just used to skip school together. That was like my skipping buddy. Like, I mean, like, every other day. Skip school. And just go somewhere. Both of us ain't had no car, but we knew people with cars. So, it worked either way. So, yeah. It was a day that we would skip school. We skipped school. And we came back to school. 
mind you, she had this group of friends, or I think it was a group, because there were more than one girl that didn't like me for some reason. But they never said why they didn't like me, or why they wanted to fight me. They would just get mad every time I came around. And I would just get like, I would just be so confused when they get mad every time I came around because I would be like, what's their problem? We could all be friends. What's the problem? Like, and then she's like, oh, don't worry about it. I'm gonna call her, I'm gonna call her Becky. Since I don't remember her name, I'm gonna call her Becky. And I'm gonna call the girls that jumped me birds. And it's no shade, it's no shade, it's no shade. Cause it happened a long time ago. I'm over it. It's just a little story time, it's just a little story time. So, let's get into it. So, Becky told me not to worry about it. So I'm like, I, I ain't gonna worry about it. We cool, so I don't need to worry about it, right? You know them, and be cool, so everything's fine. Everything gonna be good. So, me and Becky just came from skipping school. And we in a hallway, walking down the hallway to go back to our classes or to go to our next class. Tell me why Becky's fr old friends. Tell me why Bird is walking down the hallway with a fucking textbook in it. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Tell me why Bird is walking down the hallway with a whole ass textbook in her hand. And I think her friend was holding another textbook. So I think her, I think Bird and her friend was holding another textbook. So at this point, I see textbooks. So I already know what's up. You're following, she's following me and Becky down the hallway for a good, a good 10 minutes. We're dipping and dodging this girl. Like, we're going left, she's going left. We're going right, she's going right. Mind you, she's walking slow behind us with like two or three people with her. I think it, it was her friend and her sister. And her sister was older. It was yeah, it was her friend, her sister. So it was like two, three people. So down the hallway, there's two cases of of steps. So me and Becky walking towards the steps to go down the steps. We get by the steps. Bird stops us by the steps. Becky. <laughs> Wait, Becky's looking at me like, oh, is that a book? Oh, no, that's mine. Okay. Becky's looking at me like, ooh, what is that? Becky's looking at me like, Myra, come on, let's go. I said, I ain't scared of no, I ain't scared of not, not near nobody. I guess you were talking about. I'm telling Becky, if she throws that book at me, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> because y'all, y'all don't understand. I should have got her while we was in the, the hallway, while she was walking behind us. To be honest, but I didn't, because I thought, okay, well, she didn't say she she's not saying anything until we get by the fucking staircase. Then she said something. So <sighs> Becky's like, Myra, come on, just keep walking. I said, No, I'm not about to keep walking. She keeps following me. What the hell? And then Becky leaves. Oh my god. <laughs> Becky leaves me on the staircase. Right now I'm at I'm on the second staircase. I feel like something on my lip. 
right now I'm on the second staircase at the top of the staircase right almost towards the middle Becky leaves me on the staircase she like walks down the hallway somewhere and all I heard was bitch you wanna fight and at that point I was like At that point, I was like, mm, hold on, y'all. So, this is how this got turned up. At that point, I was like, who is she supposed to do? She has a textbook in her hand. She also, which I didn't even get my yes or no out. As soon as she said, do you want to fight? All I saw was... She threw the fucking textbook at me. She threw the textbook at me. But she missed. Mind you, her friend is holding a second textbook. <laughs> she threw the textbook at me. I instantly got mad. I was going up the steps because she was still at the top of the steps. I was like almost to the middle of the staircase. I got mad. I started going up the staircase while I'm going up the staircase she threw the second textbook at me. it hit me first one didn't hit me second one hit me so I'm like this bitch really wanna fight me and she's like this small she's this small and I'm like this bitch really wanna fight <laughs> what's up so I I get up the motherfucking steps after she threw that book at me I got up the steps and we just started brawling on top of the steps. Like, I thought we were going to die because I thought she was going to break my neck and push me down the steps. But we just started brawling at the top of the steps. All of a sudden, I hear, don't hit my sister. Boom. Somebody kicking me. I'm like, these bitches about to jump me. These bitches jumping me. Hold on. I'm still, I'm still hitting her. I'm still hitting her. I feel punches in my back and my legs. I feel hits. Like her sister is sitting there, don't touch her, don't touch her while hitting me. Her sister was older. right so boom the fight is over my nose was bleeding I was screaming fuck you I hate this school I'm gonna fucking blow this school up and it just was like a bad day for me reason why because I feel like all of that could have been avoided if the bitch just told me what was the problem like do you not want me fucking with your friend like what is it like what the fuck is the problem I also feel like it could have been avoided if one of my supposed to be close friends didn't leave me in that motherfucking school by myself no one bitches didn't like me. And I, I feel like she was a part of it for some reason. Because we're not friends anymore. And I feel like she was a part of it for some reason. I don't know why, but I just feel like it. So when I got on a school bus to go home. Well, actually, no, I didn't get on a school bus. My mom actually came down to the place and she saw me bleeding and stuff. She was so mad. The girl was out in the hallway. She was talking shit. I went out in the hallway. They said, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> But then, you know, my mom took me home. I had called this girl. I'm going to call her Kay. I had called Kay up, which was my close friend that just left that school. 
and went somewhere and she was like oh I'm holding jumpy blah, 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 blah. like like she was acting like she didn't know but at the same time I feel like everybody was on it cause at the same time this girl Jay she was involved with everything like she was involved with because i saw her hanging out with them once but i don't know i don't know but anyway you know i just feel like i could have been a boy like and the thing is i hate when when bitches just don't like you for no reason like they don't have a reason not to like you they just don't like you and that really like pisses me off Okay, you could don't like me, but you're going to respect me. You're not going to put your hands on me. You're not going to throw books at me. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> you're nobody. Like, like, girl, you really that pressed over another girl being my friend? Like, she don't have to be just your friend. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And after that, I went back to school. And actually, did I go back to school? No, after that fight, I think I was suspended. And I couldn't go on campus. But I don't know why I was suspended. Because I didn't do shit. But I, I was suspended. And I didn't go back to that school ever since. Yeah. And then because I'm a scary ass bitch. Because, no, I fight that whole again. And her sister. I line them hoes up. I ain't scared near old, near nigga. Yeah, but um, that was the first time I got jumped. Um, yeah, they kept saying, "Oh, she ain't nobody jump her. She ain't get jumped." Mmm, yes I did. Yes I did. Your sister touched me, and whoever, your friend touched me, whoever built that second textbook. So, yeah. And, like, why? Why? I don't understand. Like, what did you dislike? I never even talked to you before. I don't even know your name. I, I never asked about this girl. Like, it was just some random girl that used to be Becky's friend. Like, Becky, these are your motherfucking friends and you left me? Are you kidding me? I feel like I need to set up. Hold on. Mm -mm. You about to sit here and tell me that wasn't going to set up. That was set up. Either way, bitch, I, I, I don't care. I will fight all y'all again. I'll take the job. But I'm a mother now. And I can't be putting my baby life at risk for these bird holes. I can't be putting my life at risk for these bird holes. Because nowadays, bitch, you don't be wanting to fight. They want to stab and shoot. Nobody wants to fight. <laughs> bitch, I can't blame you, bitch. I'll shoot you too. I'm too big to be um, out of breath and losing. Sorry. I won't kill you, though. I'll shoot you in the foot. Shoot you in the arm. Hell, I'll shoot you in the spine. You'll be paralyzed for the rest of your life. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Have you in that motherfucking wheelchair not going nowhere. You won't be having a high girl song. Anyway. Yeah, and that was just a story time on how I got jumped in high school in Georgia. Um, but I gotta say, like, them skinny girls in Georgia. <sighs> don't play with them. <laughs> just don't play with them because they could 
they got hands, okay? I don't know why the fuck they so strong like that. Because <laughs> that don't make no motherfucking sense. They strong as fuck. Like, they just eat green beans and motherfucking vegetables all they like. I give you that. That You made my nose bleed, bitch. <laughs> Who are you at this point? Popeye? Because <laughs> that's what it's giving. Bitch. <sighs> Bitches. Alright? And then, and then, oh, uh, the bitch was wearing a whole, at that time, something was happening in that school where bitches was wearing black and white, like, long dresses. I don't know what that was. The bitch was wearing a black and white dress. She didn't have no ass, no teeth, no nothing. So she just looked like a stick in a dress. <clears throat> but that ain't my business, though. <laughs> but y'all... I love y'all. Please stay supporting me because I really need y'all support. You know, y'all the only thing I have in life other than my son and my family. Um, I really miss y'all. Comment what y'all want to see from me and just, you know, support your girl to the fullest. Get me up to 1K so I can pay bills so I can get out of here. Make y'all some good content. Ain't y'all tired of seeing me in here? I'm tired of seeing that background. I'm tired of seeing that background. I want a video room where I can do my videos. But until then, I love y'all. And peace out.